Hey yo, welcome to the channel. Today I'm about to check out, you know, a, a death battle. We got Saitama versus One Punch. Oh, fuck. We have One Punch Man, you know, Saitama versus uh 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 the the nigga, the king of spinach himself, the nigga who lit you when he gets the green. He just get, you know, like he nigga who definition of a go for green and shit. Um, Popeye, of course, and I think in the previous reaction I said. I will pick, of course, I have a feeling Saitama will win. And since, um, in fact, uh, OPM is not really that, it's not bad. It's just the fan base that try to trigger my fan base. And we all know which fan base I'm in. So it just made me dislike the fan base. Not, not everyone, but just those on that just try to, uh, uh, you know, force toxicity. Which is kind of ironic, ain't it? Even though, like, I'm the ultimate one to sometimes implementing the toxicity myself. Because, you know, this is G-Toxic. But, yeah, and, like, in the previous one, I said... Nostalgia, uh, 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 not, no, not, not even a stop. Popeye, bro, he was that dude. I was wondering what the fuck happened to him. He just disappeared off TV. Eat the spinach, <clears throat> hugs up, you know. So, do I think, uh, he's gonna win? No. Well, I don't remember a lot of episodes of uh Popeye, but I remember watching him and really enjoying it and be like, bro, this spinach ain't good for shit. But I'm gonna lock in my vote right now. I cast my vote, lock in, and I hope even after the stats. I'm still locking it in. So with that said, let's go Popeye even though this nigga fucking hit you with one punch in his GG's. Death battle. Saitama, the one punch man. Popeye, the sailor man. Mm. East versus West. Ooh. Old versus new. Healthy eating versus basic exercise. These two warriors may seem ridiculous, but their unassuming exteriors belie impossible Damn. strength. He's whiz and I'm boosted. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win. A, a death, death battle. battle. Life is pain. Brutal and short. The challenges we face during our brief sojourn on this tiny blue marble are what make us human. They light a fire in our soul. They make it all worth something. Without them, we are lost. Yeah, it's a little early in the day for an existential crisis, but luckily I came prepared. For this failed <laughs> salary man, all it took to get that fiery passion back was to save this butt chin child from a crab monster in underwear. Nasty. This man was Saitama, and he was going to be a superhero. And so he trained pushing his body beyond its limits and shattering the boundaries of humanity. So hard, his freaking hair fell out. Saitama's strength grew exponentially day by day, with the goal of becoming the greatest hero who ever oh, lived. Yeah. And much to his horror, that's exactly what he got. Yeah, and then, like, I think his journey's in reverse, where right? instead of trying to be... He just want to find somebody strong. Like, he just does not... You know, I... Bro, whatever. Y'all get what I'm trying to say. One punch. He, he don't even he don't fold it quite enjoyable too strong yeah. he became the one the only the infamous Kate Baldy but anyone who's cool what? does him is one punch man as <laughs> in he can't help but beat almost every opponent he's faced he's in exactly one punch. one punch one friggin punch and this is a universe with some pretty whacked out monsters like a giant who's over a quarter of a kill <laughs> tall and can stomp city-sized craters into the earth or an esper who can effortlessly pull giant meteors from outer space or a monster king who shaved off a continent from the earth's surface and lifted it into the stratosphere and saitama's never even broken so much as a sweat fighting any of them during their battle that same monster king absorbed this huge chunk of the earth's core and fired it at saitama who blocked it by squirt gunning some lava at it what lava he was bathing in Naked, and then he punched him. The bride. Saitama's created shock just by hopping side to side, defeated a martial arts master with his butt, and survived the inhospitable vacuum of space. Look, I'm not gonna be that guy. You know what? I'm not even gonna be that guy. After being kicked all the way to the moon and before jumping back to Earth in about 16 seconds. Because I keep hearing that's... gag character, gag character, gag, don't take him serious, bro. A lot of anime back in the day started like Dragon Ball. It started, it did start off as a gag manga. So, you know, it was, 
Fair play. 8% the speed of light. Kind of like the time he blocked attacks from this alien dude who stated to move near light speed or punch so fast his fist starts to blue shift. You know, that thing that happens when you approach the speed of light. Saitama mm. utilizes his absurdly superhuman strength. Popeye, this is not looking good like for you, bro. devastating normal punch. And if he wants to amp it up, the consecutive normal punches. Are you kidding me? Those are Okay, hold up. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, uh, superhuman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Techniques, normal punch, consecutive normal punch, is two-handed consecutive normal punch. <laughs> serious technique, serious punch, serious side hop, serious squirt gun, serious table flip. Gag, you know, I'm just playing, bro. What? Gag character, but come on, but this is a lot of gag character energy, Loki. But I, I take, I can take him, I take him serious, though. Struggle to the top. Sometimes we join him when he's already there. Basically, imagine if Goku went Super Saiyan in his fight against Jackie Chun. Kind of sucks all the drama out of it, doesn't it? Yeah, that's the point. Far from the power fantasy the genre is known for, Saitama's life became an existential nightmare. Without suitable conflict, the struggle that had heretofore defined him became meaningless. His new reality was inescapably boring. Which is really saying something when he can decimate mountains without even hitting them. Or shatter asteroids that rank a 9 on the Torino scale. For those not in the Torino, that's equal to 1 trillion tons of TNT. Okay. His training must have been insane. That would be 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats, and a 10-kilometer run. Bro, now Goku did 5 trillion, boy. And that's it. You've got to be shitting me. No. It doesn't make sense because it's not allowed to make sense. And to be fair, though, to someone who isn't already a trained soldier or athlete, keeping that workout routine every day for years is pretty much impossible. Well, 100 push-ups and sit-ups are technically doable, especially if you space them out. Doing 100 squats and then running half a marathon every single day would absolutely destroy your leg. Put simply, effective workouts involve shredding muscle fibers at the micro level, then allowing them time to repair themselves more durable than before. This repair process requires hydration, consuming protein and carbohydrates, and lots of sleep. Okay. But Saitama's workout schedule doesn't give them time to repair, which means he was basically just ripping himself to shreds over and over and over. After a few days, he shouldn't even have been able to move, but he just... Yep, going. There might yeah. be an explanation. Take the brilliant scientist Dr. Genus, whose half century of research into evolution Saitama erased in, well, one punch. According to Genus's hypothesis, Saitama's training broke his limiter. Basically, every living thing on Earth has a limit to their natural ability. Yeah, yeah. At some point, no matter how badass they are, they'll plateau. Wait a minute. Have I peaked? I gotta go to the gym! Well, Saitama trains so hard, he literally defied the laws of nature and reality. Yeah, he just breaks he does. the logic of his world. He crushed the entire field of evolutionary biology in the palm of his hand. And while he has stated that his strength did eventually stop growing, it's pretty clear he's never gotten close to showing it off in full. Such as when he fought the godlike alien conqueror, Lord Boros, and finally broke out his serious punch. Yep. Blow where he punches. A little harder than, than usual. Normal. And reflected Boros's collapsing star roaring cannon. Now you see, that's an attack name. An energy blast that was going to blow up the friggin' planet. That's over 50 zettatons of TNT. Mm. Like a quadrillion of the world's strongest nukes going off at once. Despite his obvious and overwhelming. Okay, uh, while only implied in the ma anime and manga, the official One Punch Man here in Clopita confirms. Boros' attack was capable of destroying the Earth, okay? Saitama's accomplishments were never capable, officially capable. recognized. As if no one in their right minds could believe a psych ward Charlie Brown could save the world. Well, he doesn't seem to mind. Almost as if being removed from anything resembling conflict gave him a perspective on how tropey and contrived his Oh, big is. Vegeta! Saitama's the only one in on the joke, because who cares about how far up their own ass a supervillain is when you can just chill at home with your buds and play video games? Maybe that was the real lesson all along. Not to value our lives based on our accomplishments, but on the time we spend living and enjoying life's simple pleasures. I'll leave hmm. that to Saitama, and I can't think of anything more pleasurable than punching so hard my name becomes a byword for literally unbeatable. The dude is the undisputed king of broken anime characters. Hey, yo, what happened to her? Okay, I'm gonna find... Oh, 
Bro, FB, not even FBI, bro. My fucking provider will be like, what the f Imagine I wa- Oh, bro, it'll fucking pull up a fucking porno. It'll be on some, like, Saitama punches Lady Coochie or Lady, you know? And it's just, ah, oh, bro, it's gonna show me some dude fist. Oh, bro, fucking hell, bro, like. Oh, one nut man. Oh, bro. Oh, why do I even say that? Fuck. Because until Saitama finds his equal, he's gonna end all his fights in... Oh, I can already see it. Is one one OPM is one all it takes to make her splash? Ah, oh, boy, why am I giving these names? Why am I giving y'all titles? Popeye the Sailor Man, hero, adventurer, sailor, man. Wow, to our next one, huh? How do you like that? Man, he sounds like he smokes a pack of Marlboro factories every day. And uh, if you ever wanted to know what angry cat sex sounds like, she can sing. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. How exactly do you know? Never mind. Popeye's origins are humble. Born to the cruelly named Poop Deck Pappy, Popeye was immediately upon birth horrifically ugly. So ugly, his father fled in embarrassment of his spawn Jeez. and never returned. So Popeye grew up with a chip on his shoulder. Uh -huh, and a uh -huh, okay, Popeye. Uh -huh. But how much spinach would it take for you to be on par with OPM? Honestly, bro, I love you. I'm still on your side, even after all that. But you know, up in his eye, especially after discovering his higher calling, beating the snot out of people. Don't worry, Popeye's fists are righteous, only spilling the snot of those who deserve it. Inspired by his adopted father, Whaler Joe, Popeye set out to put his combat prowess to the test. Wait, what? Yeah, okay, I know uh, uh, that Popeye is an Popeye's old show. I don't even know how I remember it. Nasty. By his adopted father. Oh, shit. So, because remember, it was back in those days. Uh, no, 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 not those days. But I don't even know when it was made, so it could be. But... Oh, they got a nigga in the show. Popeye set out to put his combat prowess to the yeah, test. Yeah, I just need to say that. I just want to say that. Becoming a true sailor man. It was there he learned the sweet science of boxing and that looks battle against crazy. World War II era racial stereotypes. I'm being non-specific, not just for sensitivity, but because there are so many examples. Originating in the era of rubber hose anime. Yeah, like I said. Popeye's body is essentially made of, well, rubber, able to... Can I, can I, superhuman physique and summon spinach, metal reconstruction, Jesus! Well, yeah, you just saw Met, physical malleability, fourth wall awareness, ah ah! Uh, ah ah! Uh, spinach powers, flight, increased strength, invisibility, invulnerability, shape shifting, unlimited stamina! Hmm, this could actually be a, be a good matchup! Squish, squash, any way he likes! Or rev up his arm for a punch that'll knock you around the planet! Popeye's punches are fascinating, since they can disincorporate their targets into composite elements, like turning anchors into fish hooks, an alligator into handbags, and several Native Americans. You know, I don't even want to know. I think the reason's pretty simple. Oh, I hope not. Oh, bro, I wonder what it is, bro. Can somebody let me know what that is? In the comments, if anybody gonna watch this, because ugh, I might forget. I might yes, actually forget. He's a cartoon. He can basically do whatever he wants. He can shoot fire from his corn cob pipe, pull a canyon closed, mm. punch bolts of lightning out of the air, and even give the sun a black eye. Judging by the distance <laughs> from the earth, as well as the time it took for the high striker puck to reach it, he must have been moving at 500 times the speed of light. Nasty. To generate that force, Popeye must have swung his fist just as fast. Hell, he's even shadow box so fast he somehow occupied two places at once punched in himself. himself so uh was he just born this way is being ugly the secret to pulling insane bullshit superpowers out of your ass even a way so you might want to get on that buddy ha, ha, ha. <laughs> The secret to Popeye's immense physical strength is Spinach. simply the virtue of nutrition. Oh, I knew you'd find a way to make it lame. Specifically, Popeye has spent his life consuming a miracle herb that has turned him from a mere sailor into a veritable god. Spinach. Propaganda straight from the bean counters at Big Vegetable. <laughs> yep. You'll never get me to eat my greens, mm -mm. damn you! It's only animal flesh and grain alcohol for me! Uh, <laughs> originating in Persia, Spinachia oleracea is a leafy green nutrient and antioxidant-rich vegetable that can help prevent cancer and reduce blood pressure. So what? Vegetable battle now? I'm not trying to learn how to know spinach, but you know, whatever. Apparently, imbue your 
biceps with the power of God in anime. While a normal can of spinach contains about 44 calories, when used in Popeye's world, its effects are multiplied. Not only does it immediately increase Popeye's already impressive strength and speed even further, it makes him virtually impervious to harm. It lets him fly, turn invisible, shapeshift his body into literally anything, and even survive the universe getting turned off. That's right, this big whatever the hell that thing is is apparently God, and he turned off reality in order to kill Popeye and his friends. Cause why not? Except guess what? Popeye was- Bro, it's Loki kinda looking good for Popeye. I don't know with these episodes, but it's Loki looking kinda good. Why? Because he eats his spinach. But if I if this happens, I'm a fucking Yeah, I'm if he wins. I might just dead ass eat spinach today. Just because. I wonder what its nutritional content is like. Well, let's find out with math. No! And I hope if he does win in a future video. You know, in fact, in a future death battle, I'll just show up eating spinach just because. A single can of spinach in Popeye's world was once able to grow a beanstalk so tall it reached into outer space all the way to a nearby solar system and shattered this stylized yellow star. By measuring the volume of this spinach stock and including the caloric density of regular spinach, we can calculate one single can of Popeye's spinach contains over 46 undecillion calories. That's Sheesh. 700 octillion times greater than the total calories the average person will consume over their entire life that's over 46 million Yoda. okay obviously the size of the star as seen could could imply that okay it is not an actual okay it is not an actual star however that the stars man apply when calculating the mountain and your advantage okay tons of tnt enough to destroy yoda tons a star or enough to punch your annoying neighbor so hard that when they land they tilt the earth by measuring the angle of the planet after tilting we can determine its axis was adjusted by about 13 degrees in less than a second that's a speed of about 1.8 million meters per second i wonder is that enough to power a rocket ship? Okay, okay punch blue to real hard. I don't know. Oh. So fast to Get travel back backwards in time? Yeah, cause that happened. I only know yeah. one type of herb that'll take you through time. <laughs> Whatever kind of spinach it is. It's, hey, it's green, boy. It's, it's just Papa green. Consume some special okay, no, I remember this scene actually. Do, even if it's handed to him by the audience in the real world watching his cartoon. He can summon cans to his side by whistling for them, praying to gods, painting them into reality, or just waving his hand. The dude has literally been disintegrated into nothingness, then his nothingness grabbed a spinach can out of nowhere and ate it. Nothing ate it. His nothing. And then he came back with his... I don't, I don't know. He can even punch so hard he tears the film strip he's being animated on. Or exit his cartoon to beat the shit out of his own animator. So Popeye's <laughs> basically found two different versions of God and whooped their asses. You know, Woo. he's a pretty chill broski considering he's basically a spinach eating what is that? A nightmare. But he's always down for a scrap. So if you decide to antagonize him, be aware you're messing with one of Cartoon's all-time heavyweight champions. And... Your own sake, eat your fucking vegetables. All Let's right, go. The buttons are set. We run the data through all possibilities. But first, in case you're starting to feel those winter blues, check out BetterHelp. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Ah, uh, shout out. We talk about viewers get ten percent. Shout out. Death oh. battle. Let me guess. He's gonna take the last spinach. Oh, he's gonna say the spinach is ass. Always so expensive. Eh, no thanks. Huh. <laughs> can't stand no one bad mouthing me spinach. But I'm <laughs> yes, big Paluka. <laughs> Whatever. Come on, boy, eat that spinach. Oh, come on, you felt that. You felt that one. <laughs> well, blow me down. You ain't got a scratch on yous. I know, right? Overwhelming strength is so boring. Mmm. Oh! Dodge. I can't read that.
Man, I wish it would have said something like, okay, oh, oh, hold it right there, and then say, and oh, uh, but we should say something like that, Lucy. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Mm, mm. Oh, he survived them punches. <laughs> oh! Uh, punch you in a different animation! Papa, you got this. Different animation. Oh, uh, what is this? Uh, uh, Street Fighter slash Tekken that is? This is amazing! How did you get so strong? Now it's me spinach. Ha Bro, just go to the animators. Here's the plan. Go to the animators. Whoop their ass. GG's. Saitama is done. Come back, boy. My heart's beating so fast. My muscles ache. I can feel them again. That's all I can stand, cause I can't stand no more. I never thought it would happen. A serious fight. I found it! <laughs> Mascot. <laughs> oh, let's go. Let's go. W's, 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 W's. W's! W's! Run it back! Go to my previous reaction! I said my nigga Popeye gonna get him! Okay, okay, I didn't say it's gonna get in the bag. Even in the beginning, I did say it's gonna lose, but I still stuck on my nigga till the end! Uh, let's go! Oh, well, I guess you say that I saw this going, boy! I didn't even know he was that like god tier level type nigga! I was just with the me! Wait, except, isn't Sai Thomas' whole gag that he can't lose? It is, but it's more nuanced than that. Despite breaking his limiter, Saitama's strength isn't limitless. He's said so himself. Breaking his limiter meant his potential strength was likely infinite, but there's nothing left in his world powerful enough to push him to get stronger, like a bodybuilder stuck with five-pound dumbbells. He also doesn't possess some magical 
ability to kill someone in one punch regardless of effort. Powerful adversaries like Boros and Garo have survived his blows repeatedly, albeit briefly, and he's never met anyone quite like Popeye the Sailor Man. According to the mangaka, One Punch Man's gag is that Saitama is an anime protagonist at the end of his series, slapped in at the beginning of his series, where mm. he's too strong to have a challenge. So, if we know Saitama's strength does have a limit, what is it? We know he can deflect Poros' planet-destroying blast, but he was clearly super casual about it. He may have called it his serious punch, but that's the joke. He's only now getting kind of serious. In order to get as generous a number as possible, let's assume Saitama was exerting the least amount of effort he could to throw that punch. Since he's still technically a human, we can assume the ratio between the least amount of effort possible and the most is relatively consistent with other humans. Let's just say he burned the equivalent of only one calorie relative to the strongest punch ever recorded, okay. which was over 1,000 joules. For reference, the average person burns about one calorie a minute doing absolutely nothing. So this is assuming Saitama is literally as casual as physically possible. That it make okay, please note that by design, it is okay, it is impossible to determine the exact upper limit of Saitama's strength. That is not the primary purpose of this particular calculation. His strongest punch about 200 times greater than his weakest. Using Boros' energy blast as a base, Saitama's theoretical strongest punch would be over 11 Yoda tons of TNT. That's absolutely insane. Enough to annihilate Uranus for times over. Okay. Well, that's impressive, but that's still far less than Popeye's star busting power, which was millions of times greater. Sure, this is only an estimate. We don't know Saitama's full strength exactly. But the point is, whatever it may be, it can be measured. That's right, but trying to compare them with just numbers isn't the whole story. While Saitama can break his world fairly easily, it's still a semi-realistic world that generally obeys the laws of physics. Popeye and his world, on the other hand, can- Okay, hold up. Despite breaking his limiter and achieving unimaginable power, Saitama still suffers from some extreme human weaknesses that Popeye does not. For example, unlike Popeye, Saitama could not survive deep space for an in for an indefinite period as he requires oxygen. Can't really be measured at all. The dudes occupied two places at the same time, ripped the film strip he's animated on, and knocked out the guy drawing him. He mm. didn't have to figure that out. Popeye's just on a whole other level of bullshit. Even if Saitama was strong enough to kill Popeye in one punch, Popeye has survived being fully disintegrated. Only Throw up. Saitama could potentially benefit from eating Popeye's spinach, however, in... Thimble theater, Thimble theater, Popeye defeated a spinach-empowered boxer without any need for his own. Ooh-wee. To recover, good as new. Help, God turned off But Saitama different, though, at the same time. He different. Because that nigga was human-human. This nigga is super, super-duper, creeper, Dragon Ball Super, Ultimate Super Saiyan 3 human type shit, you know? Reality, and Popeye just... Ignored it. I'll treat and you. on the flip side, there was nothing stopping Popeye from just turning Saitama into a bunch of eggs, which he can do without spinach. So even if Popeye was weaker, I like how they, they tilted that ish to make it seem like it's on that screen. Way to finish the job in one punch. Saitama was easily one of the strongest combatants we've ever seen. The, 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 the pure strength I mean. was no match for Popeye's insane that power, just read. survivability, and plain old cartoon shenanigans. If you thought nothing could match the One Punch Man. Now you know, Popeye's spinach can. The winner is Popeye. Oh, so now, so and that's now I okay. I'm so now I actually got to eat a bowl so of spinach. Just I might. I no no no. I I will. I will. So if if I if I make spinach, I'm gonna eat that. Coming up, bigger heroes, bigger villains. Death battle season nine, March twenty two. 2022 sheesh well no merch okay well um that was the one with tanjiro and is it jojo i don't even know well yeah i'm gonna check that out even though i'm so far behind i just recently saw that they uploaded thor versus vegeta i have to watch a lot of these so i can finally fucking catch up i might watch once every two days or once every day just to catch up but that means we'll have to fill in other anime Sheesh! so with that said i'm gonna see y'all later well there's just sitting in telegram